Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I am so thrilled to reveal to you our brand new release, our Christmas release, Sparkle and Shine. So we have some new product lines in this release and the first one I'm going to start with is our Stick and Shine. And I'm going to give you a look at how this works and then we'll show you each of the new designs. So with our Stick and stick and shine designs. You're going to peel off the backing. It works kind of like a rub-on if you've used rub-ons before. You're going to rub it on. You can use your hands. We also have a tool coming out so I'll show you that. But you can just rub it on your hand. You want to use it on nice smooth cardstock. Just rubbing it on. Peel the backing sheet off so it transfers this sticky design onto your paper. And then you can foil this design without any heat, without any special type of tools. You're going to lay your foil right on top, the shiny side up. And I'm using just like a bone folder to rub this, but you can use your hands like I said, or I'll show you that tool in just a minute. You're rubbing this foil onto that sticky design that transferred onto the paper. And I'm like probably overdoing it on rubbing it, but then you just peel back your foil. If you have any spots that didn't get it, you can just rub it a little bit more with your tool. And you're just going to peel back the foil and you will have foiled the design. It is so beautiful. It's super easy. And I'm in love. <laughs> Here is a look then once you've transferred that. And you can ink over the top of this. You can cut apart these designs and just use part of the design on your project. So I'll show you all the cards I made with this. We also have a snowflake stick and shine design coming up. So I'll show you how this one works. You can cut them apart, peel off that backing sheet, rub it on with your finger, or you can use a tool. I've even um, been told you can use like a credit card to rub it on, whatever works best for you. Put your foil on top, just rub that foil, the shiny side up, the side that you want to see, peel back and you've got your foil design. And look how beautiful and detailed that is. So this is the stick and shine applicator. So that's the tool that you can use. And then we also have some foil. You can also use foil that you may have already in your stash, but we do have for you a metallic multi-pack and then also a classic colors multi-pack. So we do have some foils for you. And here's a look at our stick and shine designs. We have four designs in this release. This is the one you just saw me use. This is 15-006 Refinement. Here you can see it on some cards. I'm also going to show you a video of some of these cards so you can really see the shine. It's hard to capture um, on a photograph. But here you can see I applied a red foil onto that stick and shine design and I did ink blending with distress inks over the top of it. Here I used a turquoise foil and did some ink blending on top of it. These are the most beautiful cards and if you want to have something really special for your Christmas cards this is a great option. You can even use just little bits of this. So in each stick and shine design pack you're going to get two sheets but you can trim them apart and kind of stretch them. And this is just a little peek at this product. I'm going to have more videos coming out that show you lots of different ways to use this and more of the how to the application process as well. But here's a look at some of the cards that I made with it. I had to show you like this because like I said, it's just so hard to capture that shine in uh, by a photograph. So video is really helpful for that. So I just wanted you to see that I'm showing you some of these amazing backgrounds. That's that refinement background. And all you really need with this then is just a little embellishment. I just added some die cutting with it and they're just totally, total wow cards. So this is that refinement stick and shine background. And then the snowflakes that I showed you earlier, here is a look at what you get. You'll get two sheets of this in your package, 15-003 Extraordinary. And then you can trim those apart and put them anywhere that you want on your card. So here I trimmed several, applied them to the card, and then I did some ink blending over the top, splattered a little bit of white paint on there too, just to give this amazing snowy background.
Here is another one where I wanted to keep like a very elegant look, so I used some gold foil with these. And not only can you use these with your foils, but you can also sprinkle them with embossing powder and heat emboss them or use them with glitter. So lots of options too. So here's a look at these in the light. Look at that shine. It's amazing. It's so easy to do. I love that you don't need to go buy any special tools or any special die cutting or heat elements to do this. It's just a very simple, great thing to mix and match with stamps and dies that you have in your stash. So again, just giving you a look at the shine from those snowflakes. I mixed these with some die cut snowflakes as well. So those white ones are die cut. The silver are the stick and shine designs. Here I did some gold on here. You can do very elegant designs. You can mix and match them with your more cute stamps and stamps and dies, whatever you love. We also have sentiments. So you guys love our penny black sentiments, so we had to do them in some stick and shine designs. I love the look of these on the darker cardstock. I feel like it just makes that shine pop even more. So I made a set of these on a navy cardstock. So you'll see several cards here with the navy and the gold. And I'll show you a video again too so you can see that shine even more. It's so fun to do this. It's fun um, in person. I can imagine receiving cards like these that definitely have that wow factor. There's a little more of an angle there where you can see the shine. And again, you can just trim these apart from the backing sheet. You press it onto your paper. That transfers that sticky design onto your paper, which you can then sprinkle with embossing powder and heat to set, or you can put your foil on top, or you could even use glitter with that. So then again, here's those sentiments. Catch the light here for you, some of that shine on there. And I love the elegance of the actual sentiments too. These are just some very classic Christmas sentiments. That joy, so happy. And then we have one more stick and shine design. This is Border Beauty. So what's really great with this is you can use it in any way that you like. You could trim these and just use one side of the rectangle just to do a subtle border. You can use that whole rectangle. I enjoyed adding that to my paper and then stamping and coloring with uh, Tombow markers to color in my image and then you see that border and kind of extend inside of that border or that rectangle. So a set of cards with this and I will show you the video for that as well. Now if you love our masterpieces made simple and I'll be showing you the new ones here in just a minute. These borders are sized to perfectly fit around the border of our pre-printed masterpieces made simple. So if you want to just add that extra touch of shine just a little bit more to those masterpieces made simple this stick and shine design will fit those perfectly. So you, here's a look at that. This one I did with embossing powder, so it's a little bit thicker um, when you heat that to set, but these are done with foil, these next two. Some gold foil on this one. Really great one layer design, no bulk on these cards. This one has some red foil. And then like I said, these are going to fit this Border Beauty Stick and Shine design onto the Masterpieces Made Simple. So I just wanted to give you a look here. It's very subtle, but I wanted you to see how you can add that shine, that zigzag border on there. Now the Masterpieces Made Simple are do have a linen texture, so these um, will be a little bit rustic on top of these, but they're stunning. The shine is beautiful, and I'll have a video coming up showing how to use them on there as well. So we also have embossing folders, Penny Black's very first embossing folders. These are beautiful, and one thing we really went for with these is to give you designs with a lot of 
versatility. You can use them at Christmas and you can use them throughout the whole year. Here's the first variegated. These, this card here is a five and a half inch by five and a half inch card, but you can also use these on standard size cards like I'm showing here, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. The embossing design is six by six inches, so you have a lots of versatility. Here is dashed design, another embossing folder, so we will have four. And these add texture and depth to your paper craft project. So I love to use them just on white paper. As you can see here, it brings this card to life. My other favorite way to use these is to emboss and then ink over the top using an ink blending tool and a foam pad, which you can see on this card here. The next design is geometric. And again, you can see these are beautiful with this Christmas release, but you could use these any time of year. You can use them on cute cards, elegant cards. They are just very versatile. They're a great thing to add to your stash. And again, a touch at the top of that geometric design. And then the last here is in circle, super unique design. And on this card, this is a five and a half inch by five and a half inch card, but I will show you near the end of this video some standard size cards with this embossing folder. And you will see these throughout many of the cards. We also have a stencil set for you in this release. Super versatile, you can use it beautifully for Christmas, but all year round. If you look at the stencil set, you get everything shown here. The top row is four and a quarter by five and a half inch size. The bottom row is five by seven. And you get the interior sort of negative pieces of the stencil as well. And I'm gonna show you just a look at these in action. So this is a five by seven card. You can put this right onto your card panel. And I love to add this inking to the backgrounds and this makes it so easy to do. You don't have to use any masking tape anymore. You can just put this on, apply your ink blending to the background and have a really finished like one layer card. Here's an example of that once the blending is done. And again, these little clips, these videos are just a little peek. There is definitely more to come explaining these techniques. Here's how you can use the negative pieces that come with the stencil. So you can put that down over your focal point. I just put a little um, double sided tape and pat it on my sweatshirt just to remove some of the sticky. I'm going to add some ink blending on the outside of the circle, so this negative piece. I can peek at that there. I did it just along the top, and then I peeked at it and decided, oh, I think I want to go along the bottom as well. And now if you're loving these stamps, stay tuned. I'll tell you all about the stamps as we move on in the video. But here I'm doing that blending down at the bottom. I can remove that negative portion. Then if I want to add some inking on the inside, I can lay that stencil over the top. So this is sort of like um, the main stencil. And I can add my ink blending inside of that circle and everything's going to match up beautifully and it's so easy to do. These are the stand stencils I have been dreaming of. <laughs> so I'm so excited that we have put everything for you into one multi-pack, everything you could need for this type of stencil work. And it just finishes off your cards so beautifully and so easily. Christmas cards, any season, any type of cards you can use this stencil set. Here's a couple more cards using that. Look at just that subtle circle there. This is a standard A2 size card. You can gives you the perfect home for your sentiment. So now I mentioned these earlier, but here are new masterpieces made simple. These are pre-printed panels. Uh, they have a linen finish and they are stunning. They are really great, especially if you're making a lot of Christmas cards. And this is the first one. They are sized at three and a quarter by four and a half inches each one. And it's called a glow. And they have a coordinating sentiment set, a three by four inch sentiment set with sentiments that really match up perfectly with those images included in the Masterpieces Made Simple set. So I wanted to give you a look at these. They are so, so amazing. 
I think this is like the most beautiful traditional looking Christmas images they're just the reds the colors they're stunning and the design ideas that you can do with these are really limitless so I'm just showing you some different designs here but you can also go very very simple with these as well just those masterpieces made simple on a card panel a standard size card panel is beautiful but if you want to get more creative with them you can also do that as well mixing and matching with different dyes inking in the background if you like to do inking or painting for your backgrounds and then again here is that border beauty stick and shine design with the gold foil on top and I'll show you some more foil ideas with these but here's our second masterpieces made simple set these are snowy sensation and the sentiment set light your path and you might want to hit pause if you want to read those sentiments in more detail I love them with the masterpieces made simple but I love them with our stamps and dies as well so here are the masterpieces made simple that come in this pack gorgeous scenes very snowy just pure winter beauty and then I'll give you a few card ideas for these but like so many things in this video I hope to have um, some videos for you showing the creation of these cards here you can see those golden snowflakes those were done with our stick and shine design so you can put them right on top of your masterpieces made simple for just that extra something you can sometimes I like to tear the masterpieces made simple to give it kind of a rustic distressed look and I can layer them with some background stamping you've seen this believe word edger die I'll show you more on that coming up when I show you our new dies but they also these masterpieces made simple work beautifully with that as well and then I just wanted to show you here some of these masterpieces made simple with the stick and shine design so you can see I used our antique frames to cut out the masterpieces as well as a background that was done with the stick and shine refinement design and look at that shine it's just that extra something to go with those masterpieces made simple and you really do have a masterpiece quickly and it's so fun to do that one the stick and shine di design was done with embossing powder the other ones were with foil look at these snowflakes they're very subtle but they're up in the sky in silver with this masterpieces made simple so they don't take away from the design but they just add that special something that extra touch that you can put on there yourself here you can see this has that border around it size to fit them perfectly as well as a couple of snowflakes again with the border I've stamped and heat embossed that sentiment that's part of that coordinating sentiment set I'm just looking here for ones to show you here I've used one of the stick and shine sentiments on the upper portion so you can see there that red foil shine on there very easy to do and if you're planning to make some cards maybe with some kids um, this is really fun to do as well because you just get that instant gratification of the shine and it's very simple and easy to do next up in our new release we have several new sentiments so you saw the ones that come with the masterpieces made simple but we also have some more for you this is that believe edger die cuts the word believe as long as a as well as the edger to go along the top like a border and we have a coordinating set believe builder with those nice one line sentiments but it also has that word believe in it so you can use that stamp on its own if you don't have the edger die or if you just want more versatility we have our immense noel die and the noel builder to go with that you saw this earlier this is on a five and a half inch by five and a half inch card but this will also fit on a standard size card four and a quarter by five and a half inches which is how you see it on this card this is a standard size card in the landscape orientation 
This is maybe my favorite sentiment set. This is 30-992 First Christmas. Again, hit pause if you want to really check those out and read them. They're beautiful. Here is a card with that. May you have the gift of faith, the blessing of hope, and the peace of his love at Christmas and always. Just so beautiful. And then we also have 30-995 wrapped up. Lots of variety in fonts and sizes makes this set really versatile. And you're going to see these sentiments throughout all the rest of the cards as well as we move throughout the video. The joy of Christmas doubles when you smile. Here's to hoping you're smiling as you read this. Just one of a kind sentiments in really gorgeous fonts. Now let's take a look at all of our new creative dies. And I hope you're still with me. This video is a bit longer only because we have such exciting new things to share with you. So I hope you don't mind. This first die set is 51-781 gifted. You get a large bow, the present that it can go with, as well as a smaller present with a gift box sort of wrapping. So there you can see both of those designs. You'll also notice that stencil or that um, tan rectangle in the background. That was done with our stencils. Here I've combined it with that refinement stick and shine design. So it's that bold die cut with that sparkle in the background. This is shiplap hexagon. This is brand new, but it fits great with our hexagon frames. That is an older die, so you can pull in your stash here. And you'll, you can see here where you can layer those. And I love this. Again, this is a die. It's beautiful for creativity. Christmas, but you can use this any time of year. And I went crazy with it. Depending on how you color it, you can give it sort of like a wood grain look, a really dark, elegant look, or you can go very light, just do a little ink blending on it, or even leave it white. And it just adds a nice texture for your background. You can do very simple cards with lots of white space, but it just grounds whatever you put on top. You can even do shaped cards with this or shaped gift tags to put on presents for Christmas time. This is 51-784 Festive Finesse. I love the uniqueness of this die and sort of the size of the elements that you can color. Here it is paired with that shiplap hexagon. Just really pretty. You can also cut apart this die and maybe just use the berries or just use the leaves to give it more versatility. You can do it in different orientations, going up and down, going to the side. That bow there is part of that present die that you saw earlier. This is 51-785 Door and Decor. So this is a die you can use to create a door on your card and it comes with the items needed there for the wreath. You'll see our new embossing folder in the background. But again, you can mix this up. You could also use this for springtime cards. You could have birthday balloons peeking out from behind the door, so really, really versatile. Here is 51-789 Perching, and you'll be able to see this better once we get to the card, but really, really nice, elegant design. I love those birds. You can mix and match those onto other sets. You could have them going on top of the gift box. I did a card like that, but you'll reach for those birds and that branch design with lots of different things. And we have 51-791 Winter's Best. I love having these sort of berry and branch designs. You can make them the focal point as I've done on this these couple of cards or you can just trim them and put them here and there on your cards when you just need a little something. Even if they're just used white tone on tone on your card background. They're really pretty and again very versatile. We want to give you products that you can reach for and use over and over and that are timeless. So here are our cling stamps. We'll start off with our brush stroke stamps. We have 40-906 festive, festive Blossoms. These give a beautiful watercolor look by putting your colored inks directly onto that sort of silhouette style stamp, misting with water or blending with a paintbrush after you stamp. Again, I hope to have videos for you showing how to use these stamps and have fun with them. Next up is 40-913 Fur Branch. This is a really great one if you're new to brush stroke stamps. I highly recommend this stamp in particular. It's very easy to work with. Here is a card created with it. 
and just a close-up look. I love those pine cones. They stamp so beautifully. They look so real. And then we also have 40-911 Brilliant Berries, another brush stroke silhouette style stamp. I love the curve of the branches on this and sort of where the leaves fall on the branches, if that makes sense, but I just think it's so beautiful. Now we'll move on to some of the sort of line art cling stamps, this type of stamps where you're stamping an outline. And this is 40-903 Radiant Red. If you love poinsettias, this is beautiful. It, I love the size of it. This is a standard size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. That gives you idea of how substantial and beautiful this stamp is. A, and it's totally a joy to color. This is 40-907 Birch Grove. So if you like to do some scenic stamping, this one is really beautiful. Here is a card with that. Very easy to do too. I just stamped it in a gray ink and just very subtly painted the sky. And that's all that's needed with that one. If you love birds at Christmas, we have 40-920 Feather Trio. I think these birds are so happy. Penny Black has the happiest birds, I think, and these ones certainly are no exception. It's like a little family there. <laughs> Again, you can see the stencil in the background. That stenciling so easy to do. It adds a life and finishes off your cards with these cling stamps. This is cheery and this is our jumbo bobble from I think it was last year a die and this stamp fits perfectly onto that jumbo bobble it extends a little bit just to give that realistic rounded look but it's so pretty and this stamp is definitely one that really comes to life once you get it stamped and colored in and I love it on that ornament here is 40-912 cardinal pear And here I've used it with that Believe Edger and the Believe Builder sentiment at the bottom. And I love the red pop on those cardinals. And even these cardinals look happy, which sometimes I think cardinals look a little grumpy, but I think these guys even look like they are happy. This is 40-919 Glittering. This is one of those really special stamps to me that you don't see all the time. This sort of design, the ornament sitting there in the branches and the pine cones. And I really like that. When you make a lot of Christmas cards, it's fun to come across something that just looks very unique. And I think this stamp definitely uh, fits the bill for that one. Here is more of those fabulous birds, 40-914 Birdhouse Berries. This is great for Christmas, but I also think you could use this stamp throughout the winter time. Winter birthdays, masculine cards, thinking of you. So again, very versatile. Just switch up your sentiment. And you'll also see there, that's one where another card where I've used that stencil set. Now we'll take a look at our transparent stamps. We saw a few with our sentiments already. But we will next take a look at 31-002 Mugs of Joy. These are so, so cute. And if you remember our last release, Sending Smiles, we had this postage, um, postage stamp stamp and matching die. And I had to put these mugs on there. I love that stamp and die set. And these fit perfectly. So they can be um, used right inside of that postage stamp stamp and they're so happy I just these were some of my favorites actually I just loved making these cards I followed some of the sketches if you saw a couple videos ago I believe some of the sketches for that but you can also fussy cut them out pop them up on your card here I used it with that Noel creative die we also have 31-001 sparkle and shine these ornaments will also fit inside of that postage stamp stamp <laughs> and die. It's post it's called posted and posted cutout. And so you can see here following that sketch, you can make holiday cards using that. So really fun to add those. I did a couple of cards with that. Fun to mix and match and play around with different color combos on these. And I love the flowers that are part of those ornaments. I think that 
makes them so unique. If you're looking for a wreath, we have 30-769 Holly Circle and Holly Circle Cutout. You can um, add your sentiment inside of there or little critters or die cutting. Lots of options with that plus the cutout. If you love cute, we have 31-003 Sleigh Ride. So Santa coming in with the cutest reindeer <laughs> that you can imagine. And I love how it feels like they're coming at you the way the illustrator drew this. Also use that stencil set to do that inking on the background. And here are the houses from that set. So you could definitely put those underneath the Santa coming in or use them on their own like I have done here. Have to have our Christmas teddy bears. Here is 31-005 Christmas letter. I've added these guys with that Believe Edger die. And also that Birch Grove lightly stamped in the background. So that can be used just very tone on tone to finish off your design, to finish off your winter scene. Speaking of cute <laughs> teddy bears, this is 31-004 Heart Be Light. This guy is so, so cute. I feel like I wanted to make 100 cards with him because he just makes me happy. <laughs> I think he'd also be great on a gift tag as well. And then very elegant set here, 31-008 Floral Festivities. I made several cards with this. Some of these you've already seen, little peek set, but here it is with that immense Noel die. And you also see the embossing folder on that. Here is the poinsettia from that clear, that transparent set. And also these berry branches are from that set. So really one that you can reach for and use a lot. Now we haven't forgotten the fan favorites for Christmas and these are certainly like top favorites for Christmas and I had so much fun creating with them. Everybody knows Snowy. If you don't know Snowy, here he is. This is a wood block stamp. We also have a cutout for um, Snowy, the Snowy cutout. It's also called Frosty Snow. Um, and here he is on this card. You've seen this already with the stick and shine snowflakes in the background, but he's certainly probably the happiest snowman I've ever seen. Here is Snow Family with a cutout. So Snow Fam Family cutout. You also get some great little snowflakes with that as well. A woodblock stamp. And here they are on the card. We love bringing back these fan favorites for you. If you didn't have them, here they are again. Or if you already have them, here's fresh and new inspiration with them. We have our woodblock stamp, You Make Me Blush. And again, just kind of followed a sketch for all these cards. And it's just so fun to create that way and add that stick and shine snowflakes in the background. Here is our woodblock stamp, Just Wishing You. And that hedgie is so sweet. Now for the rest of these cards, I used our encircle embossing folder in the background. I fussy cut out those fan favorite wood block stamp designs and just embellished with creative dies from my stash. So it's really fun to kind of mix and match the new with things in your stash with some of these fan favorites. This is Jolly Christmas Kitty, another wood block stamp. Now all of these fan favorite cards are standard size cards, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So that gives you a good idea of the size of each of these wood block stamps. Again, just embellishing with some creative dies from my stash. That embossing in the background adds just the perfect amount of texture for these clean and simple cards to have a very finished look. This is 3763H fur collared. This little guy inside of his stocking. Fun to cut that one out and pair it where he's hanging from a creative die. Really pretty texture in the background. This one, if you love cats, this one is an eggnog. Another wood block fan favorite stamp. Paired with some petty black dies in this in the background with that embossing folder again. And man, I sure hope you guys have hung in with me here to the end. We're almost done. If you did, I'd love to know what you are most excited about or what your favorites are from this new collection. Leave us a comment down below. 
in the comments section. We read every single one. We love getting your feedback. Here is feedback. Here is Thorny Affair. Smile, sparkle, and shine. And that is certainly what we hope our Christmas release does for you as you create with it or as you send it to the recipients, that it brings a smile and some sparkle and shine to their holidays. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, as well as Instagram, our website and blog. And all of those are linked for you down in the YouTube description box below. Happy stamping.